This is SkyMap Pro 11 and I'm going to go through some of the ASCOM settings. The software installed is the ASCOM Platform 6.4 and EQ Mod. If we go to Telescope, Configure, ASCOM Driver, ignore the COM port setting here, it's greyed out. And in a list at the top we have ASCOM Dome Control which we don't use. I'm setting EQ ASCOM 5.6 properties. Here are the EQ ASCOM properties, uh, longitude and latitude, some port settings, the binocular icon which will find the COM port of your telescope if it's been connected. OK. OK, OK, so let's connect. Telescope, open connection. Message, we get a message that says there's no port available. That's because the telescope isn't connected. So no surprises there. Telescope, close connection. Let's open, let's configure it for a different telescope. In the ASCOM drivers, I'm going to select ASCOM driver again. And in the list underneath HEQ56 is the simulator properties. Same property window comes up. Notice the COM port uh, is not presented, so we can't use that. OK. OK, OK, now let's connect. Telescope, open connection. Telescope is now under our control, only it's a simulated instrument and we don't get the connection problem. Um, it's giving you the uh, position of the virtual telescope pointing at the pole. Now what we can do, we can go to somewhere, let's go to Arcturus, slew to Alpha Booties, and you'll see here that the declination and right ascension are changing as the virtual telescope slews to Arcturus. And that's what should happen if you have a telescope, a real telescope, attached. And there's, there's a little cursor that goes, dives down onto the star. Um, not what would you do normally? You'd check in the telescope finder or via the imager that the star is in the centre of the field of view. And when it is, you can make a small correction if you need to with these controls here or the ASCOM pad. Or what I have is a hand controller. Once it's in the centre of the field of view, you can sync on Alpha Booties here. It says put Alpha Booties in the middle of the field of view and click OK. So now the telescope is centred on Arcturus, so you can then offset to another star if you wished. Let's go to Alpha, Alpha Virginis. About our virginus. Well, okay, that's fine. We didn't didn't pick up the right item there. Slew to alpha virginus, and co coordinates are changing, and the cursor is dropping down to there. Okay, so we can observe that. When we finish the uh, observing session, we can park the mount, and it should go back to the home position. Uh, which is, uh, I have it set to at the, pointing to the pole. But you can set other different home positions if you want with EQ mod. Okie dokie, now it's parked. So we can now close that down, telescope, close the connection, 
and there we go. We well, don't have to have EQ mod. You could use the Ascon driver and select simulator. OK, OK, and then connect to the Ascon simulator. Open a connection. Telescope under our control. I think it's down here somewhere. There we are. This is virtually the same as the EQ mod control panel. Um, it gives you the RA and deck of where the cursor is. And you need to press, if you don't press this tracking button, you'll get an error. So if we go to there, you get an error that says working tracking state. An error. That's because this hasn't been checked. You check that. Go to Arcturus and the coordinates will change. Um, be aware that when you're sitting, you can use this setup if you wish, just make sure you've got your longitude and latitude set up correctly and time, etc. etc. And it should work in the same way as uh, EQ Mod. Um, EQ Mod has other facilities which you may or may not need, but this is a basic uh, go-to process, which we can now park. The coordinates are changing to a, a park position. Which isn't the pole, that's because the park process wasn't set up properly initially. Um, and then we can close that down, close the connection. And well, there you are, that's uh, EQ Mod and EQ Ascom Quick Tour. Bye for now.